Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to see how to use ChatGPT to quickly generate the code for DTOs and mapper classes in a Spring Boot application. Well, this is one of the common requirements while developing the Spring Boot applications. So we use DTO. DTO stands for Data Transfer Object. So it is basically a design pattern that we use to transfer the data between different layers of the application, typically between client and server. And we also use DTO to transfer the data between controller and service layer at the back end. We use mapper classes to map entity to DTO and vice versa. Well, here I have created this prompt template that we can use to ask ChatGPT to quickly generate the code for DTOs and mapper classes. So let us quickly go through this prompt and then later we will customize this prompt and we will use this prompt in the ChatGPT. So here is a prompt, act as a senior Java backend developer. Well, here we are assigning role to the ChatGPT so that based on the role, ChatGPT can generate the code as per our requirement. Next, I want to decouple the entity layer from the REST API layer in Spring Boot application that uses Java 21. Well, we use DTO to basically decouple the entities from the REST APIs. So if you don't use DTO, then we have to use entity as a response of each REST API and that is not a good practice. Well, as per the security concern, we have to decouple the entity layer from the REST API layer. So let us say if the REST API returns the entity directly to the client and if the entity contains the sensitive information like password, codes, etc., then client can, direct, client can access those sensitive information, isn't it? So that is not the security. So we have to use DTO and we have to only keep the data that client expecting in the response and then we can use that DTO as a response of the REST API. So that is the good practice. And again here I have mentioned Spring Boot version 3.5 but you can use any Spring Boot version that you want. And here Java version 21 but you can use any Java version that you want like 22, 23, 24, 25 etc. Use DTO pattern which is dedicated mapper to convert between domain entity and API DTOs. Follow clean architecture and best practices. So using DTO pattern to transfer the data between client and server is one of the best practice. And using mapper class to convert entity to DTO and vice versa is also a best practice. So instead of scattering all the conversion logic in the service layer, we can create a separate mapper class and we can keep all the conversion logic in the mapper class. And then we can inject that mapper class in the service layer and we can call the methods accordingly. So this is the clean architecture and the best practices that we should follow. Next, resource configuration. So here assume that we are working on a e-commerce project and we have a product controller, product service, product repository, etc. Now we want to implement the DTO and mapper classes in our e-commerce application. Then here what we can do is we can give entity name as a product. So this is just an example but whatever the entity that you have in your project you can give here in a placeholder of this entity name. And then assume that the product entity has the fields like ID, product name, product description, price, code, etc. Then that list we can give over here. Next, to create a DTO classes, we can use either Java records or plain classes. Using Java records is recommended. Next, use either manual mapping or map struct. Well, basically, we have two options whether we can write the code manually to convert one class into another class, like JP entity into DTO and vice versa. Second option, we can use third party library like mapstrut to automatically convert entity to DTO and vice versa. So in real time project, we basically use third party mapping library to automatically convert entity to DTO and vice versa. So we are going to tell ChatGPT to use mapstrut library to automatically convert entity to DTO and vice versa. Next, here is our requirement. We are telling ChatGPT to create two DTOs, one for product request DTO, it is used in the post and put APIs and then product response DTO, it returns in the get APIs and then include appropriate validation annotations in the DTO classes. So here we are taking product as an entity name, so we can say product request DTO, product response DTO. Next, mapper class. So in a mapper class, you can see we have two options, whether you can create a mapper class and write the code manually to convert entity to DTO and vice versa. 
Second option is using the third party mapping library like Mapstrat. So we'll choose option B. So option A says like create a utility class. Let us say entity name is product. It becomes product mapper. And within this product mapper, we need to write two static methods manually. One is to convert, you know, DTO to entity and another is to convert entity to DTO. In option B, let us say if we use mapstrat, then we need to create an interface with the name product mapper and we need to annotate it with mapper annotation. And then we need to define two entity and two response DTO methods in a product mapper interface. That's it. We don't need to provide the implementation for these two methods. Mapstrat library will automatically map entity to DTO and DTO to entity. So this is the main advantage of using third party mapping library. But if we use option A, then we have to write manually all the logic. Okay. Next integration. Well, typically we use you know DTO to transfer the data between client and server and also between controller layer and service layer. So in a service class, we need to change the return type and method arguments of all the methods. Instead of using entities as a return type and method arguments, we have to use DTOs because we use DTOs to transfer the data between controller and service. So in a controller, we have to change the return type of the each method. Instead of using entity, we need to use DTO so that we can use DTO to transfer the data between client and server. Okay. Next, this is the project structure we need to follow and we are telling chat GPT to follow this project structure like create the DTO package within that create these two DTO classes. Create a mapper package within that create this mapper class. Next bonus. So we are also telling chat GPT to create this method so that this method can be support to transfer the list of DTOs into list of entities and vice versa. Alright, so this is the standard prompt that I have created and it follows the best practices. So you can use this prompt to ask chat GPT to quickly generate the code for DTOs and mapper classes and you can use that code accordingly in the Spring Boot application. Now let us copy this prompt and let us replace the placeholders and then we'll use this prompt in the chat GPT. So let me copy this prompt and go to the editor and paste it and here use find and replace option. So here let us first replace the entity name. Let us say we are working on the e-commerce project and we want to create the DTO and mapper class for product entity. So here let us give entity name as product and then click on replace all. Next field list. So here just give the field names like ID and then product name and then product description and then price and then product code okay so to keep it simple let's have these fields but in your real-time project whatever the fields you have in the entity you can mention all the fields over here so that the chat gpt can generate the code for dto and use the same fields okay Next, let us tell ChatGPT to generate the code for DTO using Java records. So let us remove this Java records for DTOs. Use either manual mapping or mapstrat. So let us tell ChatGPT to use mapstrat library for mapping. That's it. We have replaced both the placeholders. Next, let us use this prompt in the chat GPT and let us see how chat GPT generates the code. So let us copy this prompt, go to the chat GPT. So let us try it out in the free version of chat GPT first. Click on new chat. In a chat, just paste the prompt and then click on submit button. And here, let us see how chat GPT generates the code. Well, you can see the response of the chat GPT over here. Excellent. This is a solid design goal for clean architecture Spring Boot backend using DTO mapstruct to decouple your persistence layer from your rest layer. Scroll down and here you can see the standard project structure. Controller package, DTO, entity, mapper, repository, service, product, API, application. So this is the main entity point class. So 
we have suggested this project structure in the prompt so accordingly chat gpt has generated a complete project structure over here next scroll down and here you can see the entity we have given the entity name product and we have specified all these fields for this product that's why chat gpt generated a code for this product entity over here scroll down and here you can see dto layer using java 21 records so we told chat gpt to use java records so you can see chat gpt generated the code for dto using java record and also added the validation annotations as well this is awesome next here you can see product response dto chat gpt generated the code for dto using java records as well and this is the mapping layer and you can see we told chat gpt to use third party mapping library like mapstat hence chat gpt generated the code for mapper like this this is the interface which is annotated with mapper annotation and here we have three methods we don't have to provide the implementation for these methods mapstat will automatically provide the implementation for these methods while compilation okay next chat gpt also suggested to add these dependencies in the pom.xml file and then repository layer and then service layer within that we have product service interface and notice the important point over here each method in the product service interface has a return type dto and method argument dto earlier you you might be using the entity as a return type and method argument but you can see now the methods are using dto classes okay and in product service impl you can see the same each method has a return type dto class and method argument also a dto class so instead of using entity we have to use dto so that we can decouple the entity layer from the rest api layer so this is a best practice next in a controller layer also you can see instead of using entity as a return type of the each method we have to use dto it means we are using dto to transfer the data between client and server and we are also using dto to transfer the data between product controller and product service now we have seen the usage of dto class next let us see the usage of mapper class so go to the product service sample class here you can see product mapper is injected using constructor based dependency injection next in a create product method two entity method is called on mapper object and this two entity basically convert a dto into entity and here two response dto method is called on mapper object and this method basically convert a you know entity into dto so this is how we can use mapper we inject using dependency injection and then we call its methods that's it next scroll down and here you can see the benefits clean separation between entity dto and api layers map set removes boilerplate conversion logic dto's ensure validation and prevent entity leakage service and com controller communicate through well-defined dto contracts ready for future extension you can also ask chat gpt to generate the code for pagination and filtering as well okay now let us execute this prompt in the paid version of chat gpt and let us see how the paid version of chat gpt generates the response so here i'm going to copy the prompt and here and here let me go to the paid version of chat gpt in a new chat let me enter the prompt and let me submit the prompt so here basically i am showing the demo in a both the chat gpt versions because some developers may using paid version some developers may using free version and here you can see the response so this is the folder structure we have seen the same in the free version of chat gpt as well entity layer and then product request dto created using java record product response dto created using java record and then map shot library for automatically mapping between entity and dto and vice versa repository layer in a service layer we have product service interface and you can see each interface method takes dto as a method argument and return type as a dto in a product service sample class product mapper is injected using a constructor based dependency injection here the chat gpt basically added the lombok annotation here to automatically create the constructor if you are using lombok then make sure to annotate a service class with this annotation if you don't use the lombok then manually create the constructor 
that's the only difference you can see between paid version and you know free version of ChatGPT. Next, each method in a product service sample class uses mapper object and its methods to convert DTO to NTT and vice versa. Next, in a controller layer, each method uses DTO as a return type. And then Maven dependency for mapset library. We can only see few differences between the paid version of ChatGPT and free version of ChatGPT. Paid version of ChatGPT basically add some extra information and suggest uh, more about the best practices and code. Free version also creates the accurate information and generate all the required code as per our you know request. So this is how you can use the prompt to quickly tell ChatGPT to generate the code for DTOs and mapper classes. Alright great I will see you in the next video.